Repository Pines. This is the uh, send-off, the last event for San Diego Beer Week, at least the major events. And uh, we're out here at the Lodge, Torrey Pines, on the garden. And uh, awesome day. Golf course behind me. So we're pairing up all these uh, different foods with different beers. We brought in a lot of chefs, and uh, they paired it all up with local San Diego beers. So we're gonna head over and check out all the pairings and see how the, the beer goes with the food they're gonna have today. All right, there's our taster glass for today, San Diego Beer Week. We're doing this chef celebration here at the lodge at Torrey Pines. And uh, here's the menu for today. Every beer is paired with a course from a local chef. So we have uh, Pizza Port doing Shark Bite Red with some tacos, Lightning Thunderweizen with uh, some pork, got some bratwurst, old numbskull, um, some tempura with uh, La Jolla Brew House's IPA. Coronado doing their squab. And New English. Okay, and on the back we have Thanksgiving dinner, Bows Point, Reef Ride, never had that one. Hamilton's Tavern, that's a small little whipped beer, some bruschetta, stone smoked porter, chipotle. I haven't had that one yet, so we're gonna have that with some beef and kidney pudding. Uh, Carl Stout's Liquor Stout, that's their San Diego Beer Week special stout they made. So it's gonna be paired with some dessert, rock bottoms, gonna be with some pork, and then finally green flashes triple. So there's uh, Ballast Point here, pairing up oh, yeah. Miso Harney Sushi, they're up in Oceanside. Oceanside and Old Town. And Old Town, okay, that's good to know. I'm up in Vista, so. Oh, nice, so you, yeah. you can frequent us down there. Yeah, so uh, Ballast Point's the Reef Rye Ale. I know you've had this beer, but just in six pack. And this is their take on Thanksgiving dinner done sushi style. I do like rye beer, so I like the spices. Oh, all the ingredients are good. Yeah, malted rye, a lot of like uh, castle biscuit, coriander, Ooh, palisade corian. hops, and uh, flaked, flaked rye. What was the hops again? Though? Uh, palisades. Palisades, I haven't heard of that variety. Yeah, I think it has kind of a fruity, almost like an apricot. Oh, nice. Dry hopped with the coriander, you get these nice uh, Oh, the aroma. The aroma on this is great. Yeah. It was great with the sous vide turkey over here and the Thanksgiving spices. Nice spicy beer okay. almost. Cool. All right, so yeah, that's that's really interesting. It looks like she has a good hop character and good spice character in there. Coriander, oh, yeah. or at least we've survived so far. Well, I'll talk to you in a few hours. <laughs> Sculpting six packs. I'm gonna go get behind for the third time we've made this. Yeah, there's the recipe for leaf rot. Oh. Yeah. Whoa, fire! This is Hannes from Kensington Road. Cool. Can you get some beer? Uh, so well, we really haven't given you a particular name, but it's a Scottish house, so normally we call it the Ronnie Scott. But in this version, we may have to come up with a something yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it's good. Yeah. 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 So you're brewer at La Jolla, right? Yes. You and Marty, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, because I've been to many, many uh, chef oh, brewer dinner yeah. nights, and they're always awesome. Yeah. The last one I went to yeah, was, was the, uh, the Oktoberfest one. Okay, yeah. Well, Alberto is our chef. He does yeah. a great job. And uh, he was uh, really enjoying the one we did last night. We did a uh, beer and bacon one. I know, I wish you could have gone, but we were off to uh, Lost Abbey for their barrel beer. Oh, there. yeah, that's a really good event as well. Yeah, so what do you have on? So, what, I, what I have is our Cask Edition Brown, English Brown Ale. Uh, and then um, we have a same on draft, and a uh, Scottish Ale that's uh, soaked in uh, oak chips with um, rum. Okay. So, it, it sounds good. What would you recommend as far as pairing with this one? I mean, uh, both are going good, but. The cask. Maybe the cask. Yeah, I'll do the cask. Nice. nice. <laughs> Best concept. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's the memory drink. phase, too. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so a lot of beer going on today. Yeah, a lot of beer last night, too. So we're serving a pulled pork sandwich here that's topped with a brown ale barbecue sauce that's made with the rock bottom brown ale that we're pairing the, the beer with today. So have some of that with it. It's a perfect beer. Yeah. And Enjoy. the biscuit on there, that's an interesting Smoked idea. cheddar cheese biscuit, charred arugula, and espresso caramelized onion. Yeah, this looks really good. I hope you like it. Right. So what are we drinking? Drinking the ionizer. 
It's a pre-prohibition style lager. It's eight and a half percent in alcohol. Okay. Made with corn. Made with corn. Okay. Yeah. It's eight. Uh, oh. so it's, it's like malt liquor. Real smooth and uh, it has like a slight flavor finish to it. Okay. And filter. Corn though. That's interesting. You usually don't see the, the micros putting you know corn, corn in there. there. Yeah, it's about twenty-five percent corn. Twenty-five percent. Not a regular double. Oh <laughs> no, this is it is very smooth. Though, that's for sure. Yeah, it's a creeper. It's something you gotta be careful about. You have a pint of it, it goes down really smooth. It's really easy to drink. And then yeah, you stand up, you're like, oh, it's, yeah, it's, that? Just it has way more flavor and body than your like any macro. Yep. Then again, it's you know, we do a lot high. of high grain, a lot of ball. Yeah. You get such high alcohol percentage. So just a ton of grain. Ionizer lager, eight and a half percent, made with corn. Yep. So you get some sweet and salty from the, uh, definitely salty from the meat, and then a little bit of sweetness. You can see the fruit, but um, pairs really well with this. Oh. Blueberry chocolate cake in our creamless citrus panna cotta. So you get to still have your guilty pleasures and um, take out all of the refined sugars and the flour and all the cream and all that good stuff and enjoy it. So, okay, so we're a health I heard that. We do. Let you have your guilty pleasures but still enjoy the sweet stuff. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so what was the story on this one? This beer is brewed just for this week, right? Just for this week. It's like a dry session style. It has a little bit of star anise in it. Okay, so you're not using like brewer's licorice. You're using the no, actual stars, anise, stars yeah. and anise. It's very faint in the finish, but it goes great with the chocolate cake. It also changes the way that the panna cotta tastes. Yeah, it's... Um, I actually had this last week at the Brewers Festival, yeah. so yeah, it's real tasty. Real, and it's, I like that it's five and a half too. It's, I like sessionable stouts, but this one has a good, good body for it. Yes. New brewmaster. That's me. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, are you doing a picture of me? What's that? I, I was like, you're taking yeah. a picture of somebody. Uh, <laughs> it's a really long picture. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a video? Yeah. Yeah, we're here for uh, beergeeknation.com. Uh, fairly new website. Doing beer reviews and stuff. Please. Yeah. Just want to get you guys on there. I find one I like. I come back. Great. Great. Yeah, and, uh, Thank you. Do you have a card? I wish I did, but I don't. Okay. So new at this that you don't good. have a t shirt or a card at all. What is it again? BeerGeekNation.com. BeerGeekNation.com, and hopefully I'll remember that. Okay. Yeah, I know, that's why you know. There's actually guys out there with long hair. Very the only like real like good hair. Because I've actually never been down there. And, uh, <laughs> Now that we got some new brew over there. Yeah, now we got some good beer down there. Oh, are you? Right, yeah, I am. Uh, yeah. First time. Oh, okay. All right. Are you guys local? Yeah. I'm up in this then. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 Sure. So it's got a little, a little spice of tempura or uh, uh, not too much? Uh, uh, I don't think we did that yet. The hops do their thing. And, uh, yeah. It's nice, crunchy, let's go. Yeah. So it's very refreshing. You know, it's perfect for a hot day, and it's a great pairing. Absolutely. Yeah, you still get some spiciness though from the yeast. Uh, I don't know if you spice that. Did you put any spice? No, there's in there? no uh, wood spices. Just crushed cup lots yeah. and flamello uh, reduction. Yeah. Well, that, 
the yeast doing that a little bit of spice in there, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of the yeast in part in that. Well, also, uh, you know, kumquats can actually wow. be pretty tart, so pretty cool. I, that's why I stick in the candy, candy part of it. Yeah, I roasted yeah. part of it. Yeah, I've never had anything like this. This is awesome. And then, um, and then just being opportunistic, you know, I, one of the farms just had flamellos just overflowing, and he didn't have any use for them, so I took those back to the bar and had my patients juice them, and then we use that as the, as the base for the, the puree. Yeah, something different. It's good stuff. How do we I even eat this? Fork or? Well, I've seen it rolled up like a burrito. I think I want to roll it up like a burrito. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna roll it up. Uh, so it's it's, been like it's, a, it. it's a mortadella stuffed porchetta uh, with the destina lardo and the frisee salad and cappuccino. Awesome. Pretty good, man. Here at the Beer Geek Nation. Oh, uh, yeah? So, I want to try the uh, Smoke Quarter Chipotle. I've had the vanilla version, had the regular version, haven't had this version, though. It's tasty, it's, uh, it's a subtle spice, but Chipotle flavor is there. It's good, I really like it. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, it's just enough to go, hey, there's a little something different about yeah. the snack for it. Yeah, really we still got a lot of that smokiness on there. Yep, yeah, and it's great with this just right here. Yeah, I'm about to go try that. Yeah, it's really good. Get one of these. There it is. That's a little better than 11%. Oh, yeah.